What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between rational and irrational numbers. All right, so first of all, what is a rational number? Well, a rational number is simply an integer or a ratio of two integers, okay? And a ratio, if you remember, is basically just a fraction. And the way you can remember that is ratio is literally in the word rational. Okay, so let me give you some examples. So first of all, I said it could be just an integer, right? So an integer is just a whole number, but it can be positive or negative. So we have zero, one, two, three, right? And so on. But it also includes all the negative numbers. So negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on, right? So all these numbers are considered rational numbers. But like I said, it can also be a ratio or a fraction of two integers. So for example, I could have two over one, okay? Two over one is a rational number, right? Because two is an integer and one is an integer, right? I could have five over negative three, okay? This would also be considered a rational number because five is an integer and negative three is an integer, okay? Or I could have zero over 100, okay? So this fraction right here is also considered a rational number because 100 is an integer and zero is an integer, right? It's right there. Now, another type of rational number are decimals, okay? But specific kinds of decimals. There's two kinds. There's terminating and repeating. Okay, so first let me give you some examples of terminating decimals. So something like 2.5, okay? This is a rational number. So as you can see, it ends right there at the five, right? It doesn't keep going on forever and ever. It stops right there. Now, why is this considered a rational number? Well, because I could rewrite this as a ratio of two integers. And remember, that is the definition of a rational number, a ratio of two integers. So I could write this as 25 over 10. And as you can see, 25 is an integer and 10 is an integer, right? So since this is a rational number, that means this is also a rational number, right? Because they're equal to each other. Okay, another example of a terminating decimal would be 9.36. So again, why is this considered a rational number? Because I can rewrite it as a ratio of two integers, okay? So 9.36 would be the same thing as 936 over 100, okay? And as you can see, 936 and 100 are both integers, right? So those are terminating decimals. Now let's move on to repeating decimals. Now, if I had something like 0 0.3333, right, forever, just a bunch of threes. Another way I could write this is 0 0.3 with a bar over it, right, repeating bar. So why is this decimal right here considered a rational number? Well, because again, I can write it as a ratio of two integers because I could rewrite it as one over three, right? Or one third. So 0 0.3 repeating and one over three are equal to each other, okay? So since this is a rational number, that means this is also a rational number. Okay, let me give you one more example. So if we had 0 0.454545 and it just kept going on like that. So I could rewrite this as 0 0.45 with a repeating bar over it, okay? Now again, why is this considered a rational number? Because I can rewrite it as a ratio of two integers, and that would be five over 11. So since this is a rational number, that means this is also a rational number. Okay, now the last type of rational numbers that we have are perfect square roots, okay? So for example, the square root of four. This is considered a rational number. Why? Well, what is the square root of four equal to? Well, it's equal to two, right? And remember, two is a rational number. Okay, what about the square root of nine? Why is that considered a rational number? Well, because again, what's the square root of nine? Three. And three is a rational number, okay? Same thing, right? Square root of 64, that's equal to eight. And eight is a rational number. Okay, so those are rational numbers. Now, what is an irrational number? Well, an irrational number is basically just a decimal that doesn't end or doesn't terminate. 
and it doesn't repeat. So some very popular examples of those would be, first of all, pi, right? Because pi does not end, it doesn't terminate, and it also doesn't repeat. Right, it's 3.14159, blah, 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 right? This goes on forever. Now, another example of that would be the number, or the letter, E. So this is equal to 2.718281859, and it goes on forever and ever and ever, and it doesn't repeat either, okay? And the other example of an irrational number would be non-perfect square roots, okay? So for example, right here I have the square root of five. So the square root of five is equal to 2.236, blah, 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 right? This goes on forever also, and it doesn't repeat. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.